Hello viewers, welcome back. Uh, today we shall discuss on uh, two topics uh, that is uh, levels of management and skills of a manager. So first topic that we are, we are going to discuss today is uh, levels of management. Now that we all know what is a management, what is the function of management, nature and characteristics, what are the roles that is to be played by managers, it is necessary for us to know what are the different levels of management that are present. So any management or any organization will have three levels of management as shown in the figure. The topmost level is called as a top level management where usually the directors or uh, chairmen will be present and middle level managers where uh, the different department heads will be present and uh, this lower level management what is the bottom of the pyramid what we call are usually the supervisor levels. So this lower level management can also be called as a supervisory levels let us see them one by one so there is a pyramid which is shown here shows who are the major roles that are being played top level management are usually a very superior people but playing a smaller role they will not interact with the more people in the organization they will be interacting only with the certain point of context who are their middle level managements these middle level management will have to play a larger role and report the things continuously to the top level management but these middle level managers cannot look after each and everything in the organization so they will have supervisors under them who are responsible for different roles of a organization or different functions of a organization and these supervisors are called as supervisory level managers or lower level management let us see a brief functioning of these levels one by one so these lower level management as shown in the graph or in the pyramid what they do is they are responsible for daily management of line workers the employees who produce the product or offer the service so these laymen's or uh, the production site engineers or uh, the production heads or diploma or IT people or ITI people who are there in the organization this lower level management or the supervisor will look after these people who are doing the main part of the organization that is without this bottom of the pyramid the organization will not work but a supervisor will make sure that everything is occurring smoothly with respect to this lower level of the pyramid the secondary level of the management or what we call it as a middle level management they are responsible for carrying out the goals set by top management top management will have certain requirements certain objectives in their mind and they will inform these to this middle level management they will set up departments with respect to the type of that is goal is to be achieved and these middle level managers will uh, allocate different supervisors and the primary aim of these middle level management is to achieve the goals by making other people work that is art of getting things done through others here others refers to the supervisors the top level of the management they make the decisions affecting the entirety of the firm so these are the people who will make the decisions that this is required this is the target this is the time duration this is the plan that is ahead these are done by the top level managers so altogether summarizing these are the three roles top level managers will make the decision and uh, set up the goals middle level management will make sure that these goals are being achieved and top level managers are the people who achieve the goals so this is how uh, organizational management works what are the skills the different managers roles or different types levels of managers should have we shall have a discussion on this the first type of skill is called as a conceptual skill and second type is called as a technical skill and third type of skill is called as 
human relations skill let us have brief discussion on these three types of important skills that are required for any levels of management in conceptual skill the manager should have this far sighted view of the organization in certain number of upcoming years what exactly the organization is going to achieve how exactly they are going to achieve whether it will be achieved or not what are the problems that can be faced this far sighted view a manager should have and this is one of the type of conceptual skill they also sh should have the ability to assess the changes it is obvious that things will not always work the way we plan sometimes we may have to deviate from the plan or we may have to change our plans sometimes we may have to take certain decision in order to refulfill the things that are not going as per the plans so this things that is the ability to assess the changes that has to be done it is not accepting the changes instead it is assessing the thing why the changes has occurred how the changes can be avoided or if those changes cannot be avoided how it can be solved so this is called as ability to assess the changes next is to set the appropriate goals for the organization so these are the conceptual skills that is expected from a manager the second type of skill is a technical skill so in this the knowledge and proficiency in any process or technique or maybe their specialization whatever is there maybe a engineer maybe a architect maybe a designer maybe a production supervisor or maybe a management consultant whatever their proficiency is there that is called as this technical skill or we can call it as area of expertise here as a manager he should know to complete the task or to achieve the goal what are the types of skills that are to be employed what category of employees necessary or what type of recruitment has to be done what are the skills that he is looking in the employees or the freshers or the trainees or the apprentices that has to be taken care of. and what is the role of each skill there will be different types of skilled laborers present or different types of skilled employees present this technical skill in this technical skill the manager has to assess properly what is the importance of each role what is the weightage of each role that has to be done how are these different skills related to each other can they be interdisciplinary or whether one skill is related to other whether this is going to affect the process whether this is going to affect the production chain whether there has to be harmony between the different type of skills that has to be taken care of in the role of this manager also evaluate the quantity of work that has turned out it is not just that today this is the work to be done at the day end that work is done now as a role of a manager in this technical skill what he has to do is he has to evaluate whether the work was done properly or not so this assessment is very much necessary all this will come under technical skill also he has to train the new hands or teach them there will be certain people who will have theoretical skills but practically they will not be having knowledge maybe freshers now being a expert in that particular skill he has to train those new hands with respect to the organization or the mesh machinery what they are going to use for the production so practically enhance the skills of the theoretical newbies or we call it as a new hands also he has to direct the subordinates to work in group it is not uh, good if people are working on their own not mingling with each other minding their own business and not uh, helping the organization growth that will not work out properly so he has to make sure that subordinates are working in group the third type of skill is called as human resource skill so there is a separate department nowadays with respect to this skill we call it as a human resource department what uh, the skill they are looking for is the sufficient ability to recognize the feelings and sentiments of the others if a manager is ordering something to someone 
whether that person how that person will take whether he will take it lightly whether he will take it seriously whether his words are hurting the sentiments of the employee or uh, other subordinates that has to be taken care also to judge the possible reactions and outcomes to the various course of action maybe tomorrow a manager is asking his employees to work overtime he has to anticipate whether the employees will cooperate or whether they will negotiate or whether they will go for a strike that has to be thought properly and also examine his or her own concepts and well as a employee to the organization whether he is fulfilling or she is fulfilling his duty or not whether he is sticking to the goals of the organization that has to be assessed properly now these three types of skills depending on the different levels of management what are the weightages that is shown in the graph here there is a pictorial representation or infograph what is shown the top level management should have more of a conceptual skill and human skills and very less or nil technical skills because they are the people who will make the decisions the middle level of management who will make the organization to achieve its goal these people should have conceptual human as well as technical skills whereas the layman or the supervisor level of management who are the bottom of the pyramid need not have a high level conceptual skills they have to just follow the task that is given by the middle managers so they should have this human skills in large and also the technical skills so this is how the different skills are necessary in different levels of management so that's all we have got for today